Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to our session 2 on this course of marketing management 1. So, I will just recap of what we have done yesterday in our first session on introduction to marketing. So, I will start from where we have left yesterday with what we have tried to summarize what we have discussed about marketing while we define marketing with from two different perspective on social pro as a social process and probably as an organizational function, marketing is a basically a, an exchange of value where two parties are there, one could be termed as a seller, one could be termed as a buyer and sellers, group of seller is termed as industry, group of buyer is commonly referred as a market. Now, what is exchange is a physical goods or the services, what probably seller gets in return is monetary benefits for selling those product and the services. What seller also probably provides to the market is the communication about the product and the services and what comes back from the buyers to the seller in that loop is information which is very important for seller to probably remain relevant to the market. So, this information flow of flow of this information back from buyer to the seller is a very important part. This is where we have finished in the last class. Now, one thing which I would like to emphasize here is that marketing is the interface between the organization or the firm and its customer, while to the customers marketing represent marketing is the representative of an organization. On the other side, within an organization, marketing is a basically the representative of the customers. They take back that information from the customers back to the organization which it, which it processes further and probably comes out with improved offerings or probably new offerings and try to remain competitive in the market. So, this is what probably the role of the marketing is there in an organization as a function also. Now, we will try to explain you the difference between marketing and sales. Now, as this picture depicts that while a sales oriented process is just focus on producing the product and then going and selling it to the customer, marketing oriented process will more have a more focus on creation of the value and then communicating in delivery rather than just giving to the customer whatever I have, I will probably try to understand what customers want. I will try to understand customer needs and at the same time when I am understanding the customer needs, I will also understand the environment in which customer consumes a product or the services because without understanding those things just probably a understanding a product will not suffice. Then probably comes once, once I have understood those needs, then probably I will design the product and produce it and then it will be taken to the market to the nearest possible or the convenient point of the customers and through this, uh, all through the, this process, we will also communicate to the customer what this product is, what are its benefits. We will probably explain to the customer both its functional and emotional benefits. Uh, in a way, uh, this part, the, uh, the, the last two blocks can be called the tactical part of the marketing and this is the part which is the strategic part, part of the marketing. And when an organization a, a, is focused uh, in creating the whole marketing value proposition from here, then we often call such organizations as uh, market oriented. 
So, somebody uh, very uh, uh, ably put together the basic mantra of market orientation and said that this is an organization which is driven by sense, share and respond. As you showed in the previous picture that uh, there is a, a very important feedback loop coming back from the uh, uh, market uh, to uh, the industry. So, you sense and then within the organization as you rightly said as representative of the customer you share with all the other functions the feedback coming from the customer sense share and then you respond with offerings which not only respond to the customers declared needs or as you yeah. said articulated needs, but also addresses the latent needs and, and that is the way today to delight the customer. So, today just uh, uh, as your next picture shows just by uh, delivering the value uh, you will you cannot win. To make these parts uh, successful, to make your sales grow, make more products delivered to the customer, we have to focus on this part, the, the, the strategic part of it. And we have to understand that sense long before other my competitor sense and then create the value uh, uh, response. On the other side, if you look at the sales process, you will understand that probably company might be good in producing something and they are offering that to the customers. But however, the customer may not probably like that offering because it may not suits to his needs or probably in the environment in which he consumes the product or the service probably will not be suitable. So, sometimes the product may not be probably any way less than in terms of its engineering aspects. However, it may not suits to the customer requirement and sometimes it, it may happens that because of the over engineering of the product, you provide something beyond the expectations or probably the needs of the customer, you also probably raise the cost of producing the product. Or make it more complex. May make it more complex, yeah, very, very, very appropriately uh, probably stated here. So, it may not be so relevant to the customers. So, again that, that will bring it bring us to the concept of the value, its value will come down or the perceived value will come down in the uh, minds of the customers. The main point here is that one has to think of marketing as a system. That means, not only this production or creation of value and delivery of the value, uh, you have to also think as uh, Professor Mishra explained in the total environment. So, uh, sometimes if it is, the, it is not only the environment like temperature or pressure or uh, wind or uh, and such or say the um, moisture in the atmosphere, those will affect. If you are uh, making and selling a refrigerator or an air conditioner, those environmental factors will play a part. But there are other environmental factors in the sense that what is the mental environment, what is the psychological environment, uh, the process environment where the consumption takes place. Uh, you have to think the whole marketing issues, uh, the, the, the whole lot of marketing issues in that total perspective uh, as a system. And as we will discuss much later that understanding therefore, marketing as a holistic system uh, becomes your way to success. So, some of these things we will also discuss probably when we will talk about consumer behavior and then we will understand wh what are the factors that affect the consumer choices, wherein probably we will also look into the cultural factors which affects the consumers. Now, coming on to the, some of the concepts which we will talk during this course is need. What we, what is need? Need is basically stated felt state of uh, deprivation. So, if I at this point of time, if I am hungry, probably my body will let, uh, let me know that I am feeling hungry. Now, here it is important that needs probably are uh, 
pre-existing before the marketeers, marketeers don't create the need. What they influence is the want. Want is basically the form of need which are probably affected by our cultural and environmental factors. So, like if I am hungry, probably I being a vegetarian, I would like to have something on a veg. On the other side, Professor Chatterjee, if he probably is hungry, he will again like to have a fish at this point of time. So, you see some of these cultural factors and all those things affects our want. For marketeers, what is most important is more than want, someone who desires a product, someone who want a product, he should also have the buying power. So, if I want probably a luxury car, I, I can wish to have that luxury car, but if I I do not have the money to probably pay for or probably afford that car, to maintain that car, I am probably not the part of the demand for that marketeer. So, it is important to understand what is the difference between need, want and the demand and then who is the customer. Customer is anyone who is interested in the offering, then probably who is market. Market is a basically a place is a, which is a probably a combination of the customers and the sellers and the product we conceptualize in the marketing is bundle of benefits. Like if you look at any product, I, I was referring to you in the previous session about a car. If you look at a car, car models are differing from each other on probably the attributes like transportation, safety, status symbol. While all the probably if you take three car models from a company, you will see that they are coming at different price point. A, B and C, supposedly we call the, there are three models A, B and C. Now you see, all three of them will be fulfilling our transportation needs. However, you will find out the top end model in a particular car uh, brand, family. Yeah, family might be coming at a much higher price than the basic model because it has a more safety features. On the other side, if you look at some other brands from a probably a same seller, which might be probably a more probably a will come as a probably a luxury brands and all that, they will probably come at a different price point again because they are also providing you or they are also fulfilling the status needs also. So, here it is uh, you have to understand that product has probably these three features transportation, safety and probably status symbol. All these three needs probably in those three products are represented by the different levels of needs being satisfied. So, that is why what I was saying was in marketing very commonly a lot of probably academician will refer product as a bundle of benefits. Now, explaining to you or probably elaborating more upon what uh, we were talking about in AMA's definition of marketing as an organizational function, how it is being actually executed in the organization. So, you will find out from organization to organization or probably within an organization from one unit to the other organization, there will be differences in the practices and the, the way the activities are performed. But broadly, if you want to basically study or theorize what marketing process is, strategic marketing process is, it is being represented here. Generally, marketing as a process will start from the analysis of the customer company and the competitor. So, what Professor Chatterjee was talking about that involving the customer from the very beginning, understanding them, their environment of the consumption, the factors that affect the customers, they are very important and they needs to be studied first. And then you also understand what probably what are probably as an organization or your strength and the weaknesses we will talk about probably in next few session about some of these aspects where we will, where we will talk about the different tools that you can use to basically study the customer company and the competitors. So, as an organization you need to understand what are your strength and the weaknesses, what are your opportunities and the threats, what are your resources, your capabilities that constraint you are probably that enables you to do better in the market than your competitors. So, those are basically the kind of analysis which are required and then probably you generate the 
different market insights and based on those market insights you develop your marketing strategies. We also very commonly refer to those marketing strategies as generic marketing strategy or abbreviation in abbreviation we call them as STPD segmentation targeting positioning and differentiation. Now going into each one of them probably in the later chapters we will also talk about this uh, marketing strategy part but briefly I will just explain to you what is segmentation targeting and positioning is. Segmentation is when you have a probably heterogeneous mass or population in a market if there are customers all the customers will not have same preferences the preferences are varying across the customers in a market. Now you probably need to in this heterogeneous mass you need to probably identify homogeneous groups that is called as segments. Now when you segment the market the next thing that you do is you basically have a priori set criteria for any organization based on which you try to basically select or judge the customer segment which are the most attractive customer segment that you choose ok. So there are criteria that you need to basically first build and then basically evaluate the different customer segment on those criteria and then you should come out which one segment are probably more than one segment are the combination of the segment you want to probably serve as an organization. And probably the third thing that comes in this strategic marketing part is, is positioning. How you should probably communicate or probably how you should position your product a very clear cut positioning or probably clarity in the minds of the customer what are the benefits of your product or the offerings. So that is what probably the, this concept of positioning is. No, I, I was thinking that maybe uh, we can uh, take a break here and uh, but tomorrow uh, should we then go deeper into uh, each block yeah. over the next couple of uh, sessions because each one is so fundamental yeah. to successful marketing. So we can look at ways of segmentation, yes. ways of segmentation in case of uh, uh, consumer market or what we commonly call business to consumer B2C market and ways of segmentation in B2B, B2B market. market and uh, then we can look at targeting uh, in greater depth and positioning. Yeah. So how we will be proceeding I will just explain to you while I just, uh, just, just complete this uh, in this picture I will just complete on this part while this, this, bus uh, this business analysis and marketing strategy leads us to define what is going to be our tactical approach in the market. So what is going to be this very popularly, popularly known as this concept of 4 P's in the marketing product price place and promotion given by McCarthy. So what, what, what is going to be our product? So as I was saying product is a bundle of benefits. <coughs> so what are going, what are the benefits that you are going to deliver in your product and what are the levels of probably those benefits in your product ok. Then what will be the price of the product, what will be the place where you will make your product available for the customers and then how you are going to promote your product. These are very very important decisions in any probably marketing process and probably when we will go further we will go into the each of these different aspects of uh, marketing process and explain to you each one of them in more detailed way. So we will also talk about the different markets that exist B2C market, business to consumer market and B2B markets the two, two predominant probably I mean one of the classification of the market based on the type of the customers that you are serving. Also the process of yeah. uh, buying and selling yes. the marketing yes. process. Yeah. The nature of the buyer and the process of buying and selling uh, based on that we will look at these uh, different uh, aspects in greater depth. Thank you.